Ferguson is with us, Indiana Arts Council, and we haven't talked with David for a while. Uh, it's been the case with a lot of groups we haven't had a chance to catch up to, but we're glad to now. David, good morning. Good morning. It's, yeah, so glad to be with you. It's good to have you back with us here on Indiana in the Morning. And, you know, folks are looking for entertainment. Our conversation brought to you, by the way, by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Indiana Arts Council, you're in the entertainment business, right? Um, yeah, entertainment, enlightenment, uh personal fulfillment, all of that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. So so how are you going to entertain us in this odd, odd summer of 2020? Yeah, you know, we, we so many of our things, like, like a lot of groups, uh, had to be canceled because of the pandemic, and we were kind of thinking about, well, what could we do that would have uh, artistic value and, and could also be safe for the community? And, uh, well, we, we started looking at um, movies mm-hmm. in Memorial Park. Mm-hmm. And um, downtown Indiana has a wonderful inflatable screen that they're, they're lending to us. And uh, the, the county parks have been fantastic at uh, allowing us to, to use the space. Um, this Wednesday, tomorrow night, uh, starting around 8 o'clock, We'll gather in Memorial Park and uh, we'll watch a movie called Our Town, uh, which is uh, from 1940. It's a classic old movie, Mm -hmm. and uh, it it was nominated for Best uh, Picture in in 1940. And uh, part of what uh, is excellent about this is it also has a, a movie score by Aaron Copeland, who is one of the finest American composers yeah. ever. So, um, it's a, it's a neat show and, um, we can sit in a socially distanced way. We'll, we'll have, uh, it, it's free of charge. Um, donations are accepted, but, uh, we're, we're really glad just to, to have an excuse to, to come together as a community and, uh, and enjoy something of an evening. Yeah. So it's tomorrow night. Um, and basically after dusk, I would assume. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, we, we're, we're not supposed to have more than, uh, say 200 people, but I think we can manage that. Okay. I would guess. Um, but one of the great things about Memorial Park is, you know, with the trees and everything like that, you in order to have access to the screen, you're going to end up kind of distancing yourself anyway. Uh, so that's, that's part of the, uh, cool thing about that. Now, mm-hmm. in future shows that we're going to, to have, um, two weeks from, from tomorrow on the, uh, on the 12th, we're going to be showing Coco, uh, the Disney, uh, film from uh, about a year ago. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's just cool that we're going to be in that space. Coco deals with the day of the dead and by going back and visiting dead relatives and, and so forth. It isn't scary. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it's a, but, but it, it does deal with the afterlife. Uh, and, and knowing that Memorial Park is also a, a, a cemetery is mm-hmm. kind of a, a fun little feature. Uh, and then a lot of folks know that the, uh, that particular cemetery was used as a stop on the Underground Railroad. Yeah. Um, w- the third movie that we'll be showing is the movie Harriet, which is uh, about the life of Harriet Tubman. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I should say that Coco is being sponsored by Mark Arbuckle Nissan. Uh, he's fantastic. And the, um, the more recent movies we do have to pay rights for, and, and we certainly wouldn't be able to do that without the support of uh, uh, Mark Arbuckle Nissan as a, as a sponsor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then with Harriet, we've partnered with uh, the Underground Railroad Museum and uh, the NAACP and the Center for Community Growth to help uh, present that show. Yeah, yeah, sounds terrific. Um, and, and Our Town is a classic American, and it stars William Holden, who is my mother's favorite actor. Is that right? That is true. That is yeah. true. Yeah. A little William Holden action going on there. It's not the horse soldiers, but hey, Our Town is, is a very, very fine American movie. Uh, so that yeah. is tomorrow night. That's, that's really neat because other communities... Uh, down through the years have had those outdoor summer showings, and it doesn't seem like it's um, um, 
Well, it, it, it hasn't really been something that has been tried uh, all that often, or if at all, here in Indiana. And, and so that's a really nice little feature for summertime. I like yeah. it. I like it a lot. Well, um, we, we got some of the idea from uh, the Indiana Bicentennial. They did movies in uh, Memorial Park back at the time of the set, uh, Bicentennial. Uh-huh. And, and that, that kind of gave us the idea. And so, well, we've done this before. We can, we can do something like this again. Uh, it, like, like you say, though, it's been infrequent. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're glad to bring it back. And we also wanted to, to do it on a, on a night that was you know, maybe the middle of the week um, because a lot of folks have been enjoying the uh, uh, Palace Gardens drive-in. Yeah. Uh, same type of experience, but we did want to get in their way. So sure. if you're looking for something uh, in the middle of the week, uh, come to Memorial Park. That's that's a, sounds like a great idea. Bring a lawn chair, bring a blanket. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I understand it's going to be uh, maybe a little bit chilly on Wednesday night. I was mm-hmm. kind of surprised. Yeah, the low fifty six degrees. Uh, so, but that won't yeah. be until later in the evening. You take a, no. take a sweater, maybe wrap up in that blanket a little bit. That's right. That's Do right. some snuggling. Some some. <laughs> Physically distant snuggling. I, I I don't know how you pull that off, but uh, you, well, can, you, can, you can figure it you out. You can come with people in your family. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. Hey, Dave, while we have you on the air, and I want to get you mm-hmm. back next week to talk about this. You have a fundraiser going on, too, correct? Yeah, yeah. Kathy Patterson uh, is doing a great project uh, she calls the Artful Chair. And uh, around 100 of, of these chairs... Um, have gone out to various artists around Indiana County. This is something that she started once quarantine hit. Mm-hmm. And um, she's, I, I believe she's collected in just under a hundred that, that have then been decorated. People uh, pick up the chairs, they uh, paint them or decorate them in their own particular way. And then they're brought back. And in October, they'll be doing um, a, an auction and the the chairs will be sold, and uh, the proceeds will benefit both uh, ICAP, the uh, the community food bank, mm-hmm. and uh, the Arts Council. That's so, cool. yeah, it's some of the the pictures are pretty cool. Uh, I know that Kathy did one that um, she she recreated um, Van Gogh's Starry Night uh, on the chair. Nice. Um, and uh, I've seen a couple of others that are that are pretty cool. So yeah. um, hopefully this fall we'll have a few of them on display uh, yeah. around town as well. I was going to ask, are they posted anywhere that folks can get a look at them? But uh, well, you know, Kathy has been assembling these, and she has a few. I I know that the tourism bureau had had something. I should maybe look at this and make sure that I I'm not speaking out of turn. Uh, but um, well, by next week we, you'll be able to. By, ne- by it. next week, we'll yeah. know for sure. Yeah. All right. Terrific stuff. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, let's go to the movies tomorrow night at Memorial Park in Indiana. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have some uh, um, prepackaged snacks available for for purchase if you want to do that, or mm-hmm. you're welcome to bring your own. Um, no alcohol allowed in the park. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, you know, otherwise, it's a it's a really wholesome evening, and uh, everyone is welcome. Do wear your mask and to be physically distant and enjoy yourself. Sounds like a great yep. idea. Great idea. Absolutely. All right, David Ferguson, thank you so much for telling us all about it. Sure. Thanks for having me. Terrific. You have a great day. You too. It, Talk to you later. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160.